What's up, YouTube? This is Gerard with Kingdom Moves Fitness, and it is the 29th of January, 2017. So as promised, today is the end of my cut. Now, there are a lot of things going on this week. Uh, we're actually in the process of moving. We've been blessed with a uh, larger space, but we are in the process of moving. And, you know, that is a, a tough time, a stressful time. But I made a promise to you all that I was going to do this video. And so I want to keep my word to you all at all times. So as you saw in the first picture where I was with my wife when uh, we were both much younger, I was 214 pounds. I began this specific cut in April of 2016 and my weigh-in was 194 pounds. And as you saw from my weigh-in from this morning, my weight was 162.2 pounds. So that of course means that I have lost 52 pounds from my heaviest weight and with this recent cut, I have lost a little over 32 pounds. But one of the things that I want people to take into consideration and to take from this video is the fact that it took me 10 months to lose 32 pounds. And this was something that I did intentionally, not on accident. And hopefully by the end of this video, you all will see why. Now, everyone knows that I am a huge advocate of getting your health in check and taking back control of your life. But for the subscribers who have been on the channel for a while, you also know that I am a huge advocate of losing weight slowly and correctly. I feel that this is something that is highly neglected, but it is very, very important. Now, it is one thing for me to make videos about losing weight too quickly and other subjects regarding weight loss, but I also feel that it is a totally different and more powerful thing for me to actually show you the results I have gotten from doing the things that I say in my video. Because I hope that by you seeing the results that I have had by losing weight slowly and doing things gradually and making it a lifestyle change instead of a crash diet, that possibly this could help someone to make a decision that may save their life. So this is far from a vain attempt of me flaunting my physique on the camera or anything like that, because in actuality, this is still very difficult for me getting adjusted to putting these type of videos out there on YouTube. My hope is that someone out there will see my progress and they will make the decision to make it a lifestyle change instead of trying to just lose weight quickly. Because I truly feel that there is a huge difference between losing weight and losing fat. So now on to a little bit of my weight loss story. As I said, my heaviest weight was 214 pounds and I yo-yo dieted for many, many years. So basically I would lose the weight very quickly and then I would gain the weight back by going back to my regular lifestyle and then I would lose the weight quickly again. And I continued to do this over and over and over again for many, many years. Now I never considered myself overweight, but as far as chunky, chubby, things of that nature, I did hear those terms uh, in my childhood. So. I just thought that I was just maybe a little thicker than other people, so to speak. But I never thought that it would be something that would be detrimental to my health because I wasn't, in my mind, I wasn't unhealthy. So this yo-yo dieting, I truly believe is what contributed to the issues that I've had with my gallbladder. So after having a gallbladder attack in 2015, I was told by a surgeon that if I did not have my gallbladder removed, it would be detri very detrimental to my health and possibly my life within a year's time. And I prayed about it and made the hard decision to refuse the surgery. Now, I am not recommending for anyone to go against their doctor's orders. I'm just being open and upfront about what I chose to do. And the reason that I did this is not because I felt that the doctor was incompetent in any way, but I felt that by simply removing my gallbladder, that was not solving the problem that was going on in my life. My problem was the issue of yo-yo dieting on and off, losing weight too quickly and gaining it right back, as well as me eating three to four double Whopper meals every week. So as I said, I declined the surgery and I made the decision to change my lifestyle. And my line of thinking was that even if I did have to have the surgery down the road, the healthiest that I could get myself before the surgery would be the best thing for me. Because at the same time of me finding out about the gallbladder attack, I also found out about 
high blood pressure and other things that were going on in my life due to my lifestyle. Needless to say, it has been almost two years since that gallbladder attack and I still have my gallbladder to this day, but I have changed my lifestyle. So the first thing that I did was decide that I needed to lose weight in order to qualify for life insurance. So I did this, um, got down to the weight that I wanted, which was around 180 pounds, qualified for life insurance, got that coverage for my family, which was awesome. So the only issue is that I eventually went back to my old ways. So for over the course of the next four months, I slowly but surely went back up and I ended at 194 pounds. So those are the pictures that you saw and that is when I actually began this cut. So my goal this time was to lose the weight, but to lose it slowly. So I formulated a meal plan and also a workout plan in which I would lift weights the entire time that I was dieting instead of simply doing cardio. So that was one huge change that I made this time versus the other times that I was attempting to lose weight. Now, the reason that I did this is because I did not want to end up with a lot of loose skin. I do have some loose skin and anyone who is losing weight, especially the more weight that you have to lose, we all will have some loose skin to deal with. But my goal was to attempt to minimize this loose skin as much as possible by keeping everything tight and by, you know, keeping everything toned at the same time that I was dieting. And I really wanted to be able to be confident in taking my shirt off in public. I had never gone to the beach and taken my shirt off at the beach, never in my life. So I wasn't comfortable at a swimming pool with my shirt off or things of that nature. And so that was something that was very important to me. Now, to some people that may not be important to you, but I did not want to have to end up having some kind of corrective surgery to repair loose skin from losing weight too quickly, because I feel that that would leave me trapped in the same body that I was trying to get away from. So what I did was 90% of the time, I would eat exactly to my meal plan. I wouldn't stray from it at all. But I left a 10% window for holidays or uh, my birthday, my wife's birthday, something like that, where it was a special occasion or maybe I just needed a treat and I left room for that in my meal plan. And the reason I did this was so that I wouldn't beat myself up about it and give up on my plan. Now, that does not mean that every nine days I had a cheat day. But what that means is that I did leave that little wiggle room just in case something came up and I did want to just relax and live a little bit. So was it hard? Yes. Was it frustrating? Yes. Did I want the weight to just come off quickly so I could just start building all of this muscle? Yes. But do I regret doing it the way that I've done it now that I'm at the end? No, I do not. So while I was starting to lose weight, I decided that I eventually would not want to stop there. I wanted to add lean muscle to my frame. So my goal was to, instead of doing many cuts and many bulks like a lot of people do back and forth, I decided to just do one long cut and to get my body fat percentage as low as I possibly could before I started bulking. And the reason I did this is because I wanted the canvas as clean as possible before I started my masterpiece. So I didn't want to have fat on my body and then bulk up and gain more fat along with the muscle and then have to cut back down in order to get rid of that fat and see the progress but lose muscle in, in the process and go back and forth. I felt that that was almost the same as yo-yo dieting that I did before. And I didn't, I know the damage that I've done to my metabolism from the yo-yo dieting. And I didn't want to continue to wreck my metabolism in the future. So my thoughts were to get as low as possible on my body fat. I wanted to get at least under 15% before I started bulking. Now, some people disagree with that. Um, people are going for different um, looks. Uh, people have different body types. Uh, people want different things. Everyone doesn't want a six pack. I understand all of that. So I am not trying to tell anyone what to do. I am simply letting you all know the things that I did. So when I hit my goal weight of 180 again, I decided that I wanted to get my body fat under 15%, as I said, so I continued cutting. And I did not realize that I was going to have to lose as much weight as I did to get my body fat under 15%. As you all saw the scale this morning said 10%. 
And I can't say that I believe that. I don't feel that I am that lean. I've heard that the scales can be off, can be plus or minus five, but I do feel that I am at least under 15%, hopefully somewhere between 12 and 15. So that means that my journey is not over. The weight loss part of my journey is over, but there are fitness goals that I still want to achieve. I know that I have a lot of things going against me as far as my age, as far as my inexperienced lifting, but I feel that I have a lot of things that are in my favor as well. I'm very competitive, I'm very self-motivated, and I am the type of person that if you truly want me to do something, then all you have to do is tell me that I can't do it. And I am going to do everything I can to try to do it because I feel that with the Lord's help, there's nothing that I can't do. It's hard for me to believe that I would ever be able to see my abs either at 35 years old, but that is something that has become a reality. So I am going to work hard. I'm going to push myself because I don't want to end up 60 years old and wonder what if I would have done this or what if I really would have pushed myself? How far could I have taken my physique? How far could I have taken my body? How much could I have lifted? So I don't want to have those live with those regrets. So I'm going for it full force. So I'm going to continue, of course, to focus on making videos about tips and recipes and things that I have used on my weight loss journey. And I'm going to continue to attempt to motivate and support you all on your weight loss journeys. But I am also going to attempt to start showing a blueprint of things that I am doing after I have reached the body fat percentage and weight that I want so that possibly it may help someone on what to do after they have lost their weight. So I'm going to show you the ups and downs of it because I feel that that's what people really want to see. So I am going to take my measurements once a month and I am going to weigh myself once a week. And the reason that I'm weighing myself once a week is because I do not want to gain more than two pounds in any given month. And if I do, I am going to make adjustments to my meal plan to counteract that. The same as if I am not gaining any weight, I am going to make adjustments as well to eat more calories. And the reason I'm doing this is because your body can only produce so much muscle at one time. So that means that if I'm gaining over a certain amount of weight in a month, that is a very high probability that a lot of that is fat. And I do not want to gain fat. That is the point of me doing a slow, clean bulk. And by slow, clean bulk, I mean that I'm going to gradually raise my calories until I get into the sweet spot, but I'm still going to continue to eat healthy foods the majority of the time while leaving a 10% window for a special occasion that comes up here or there. So now I am currently finishing up my reverse diet and I have been slowly working my way back up to my maintenance calories. And when I hit my maintenance calories, I will slowly add a little more calories until I get into the desired range of weight gain per month. So I am going to make a video every month in this new series and hope to be able to include in this workout footage, but I would definitely be including the things that I am eating throughout the day, the calories that I am at, the adjustments I've had to make for that month, along with weigh-ins and measurements showing the weight that I have gained for that month, along with any progress that I've made on building muscle. And I will also end it all with a physique update to let you all know where I am. I have started going to the gym instead of doing all of my workouts at home. I actually started going to the gym last week. It was my first week there. So these first two weeks in the gym, my main focus is just getting the form down the best that I can, trying to see what I'm comfortable lifting and get me a good starting point. Uh, but I have to make sure that when I have these extra calories in my system that I am not playing around in the gym. I worked out very hard at home and my main worry with joining the gym was not being able to get access to the machines that I wanted to for that day with a packed gym. But luckily I've been blessed with an awesome church that has an awesome set of facilities that I've been using and they have all of the equipment I could ever dream of. So for right now it is a perfect fit. I'm just hoping that I'm going to be able to do some taping in there as well. Well, everyone, I hope that you all enjoyed me sharing a little bit more about my life and my weight loss journey and the reason that I decided to lose the weight along with the reasons that I decided to lose the weight the way that I did. And I thank all of you for your support thus far. Um, thank you to all of the new subscribers to the channel as well as the subscribers who have been with me from day one. I truly appreciate all the love and support that you show me. 
and I thank all of you in advance for the support that you're going to show me on this new phase of my journey. So please don't forget to like the video if you haven't already, as well as comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to the channel. I feel that this channel has a lot to offer, and I feel that it is only going to get better from here. Well, everyone, this has been Gerard with Kingdom Image Fitness. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you on the next video.